see because I'm gonna upload this on Saturday. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna vlog that much for today. Because I know tomorrow I probably will vlog. It was so much fun. It was like so like secretive. It's, it was just fun. Um, it was like a little workshop that I had for production. So like camera wise, lighting, how to set up everything. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun. I did interact with other creators. Um... It was like so amazing. I loved everyone that was there. They're so different, unique, and it's like a very family type community. So I really like it. <laughs> but I got home around nine ish. I literally took a cab and wasted like twenty something dollars because I was too exhausted to take that train. Like, literally, the train that I had to take, literally, I had to work, like, five, six blocks. And I've been up, I was up since 3 o'clock in the morning. So, that was, that was just a dub. So, took a cab, went home, and literally had to wake up again. Wake up, like, around 3 o'clock in the morning, and now we're here. Um, it's, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's, like, 1-ish or 12-ish? Closest to 1, I believe. So, it's literally... Thursday and I haven't vlogged but I did vlog for Tuesday I did vlog Tuesday because I did go to the YouTube event they had for like the podcasting stuff so I probably am gonna insert some clips right over here <laughs> I have a podcast called Stars Like Us, and I'm happy to be here. My name is Sarah Gucci. I am a YouTuber, but also a podcaster, so I'm very excited to have these amazing ladies with me. We're talking podcasting and business. Um, and so I kind of want to start off with asking everyone, what is the biggest benefit that you've seen from podcasting outside of the monetization? We'll get into money, ads, all that stuff, but that seems like the most obvious question that we will ask, how do I monetize my podcast? But I found that there's so much value to podcasting outside of that. So let's just start with it. Where, where have you found the most value, whether it's interviewing people, building relationships, or um, just telling meaningful stories? So I'll start. <laughs> um, for me, I feel like I created, well, helped to create both Nerds of Prey and creating Sex Ed and Color out of necessity. So in both instances, um, both shows came out of a need. When there was still four seasons. So what was that for you all? For me, it was um, shows about mental health. So one of my favorites right now is called The Hilarious World of Depression. And it's a comedian named John Bo talking about the experiences of disabled people of color. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Right. Thank you. Yes. So, okay, yes. So I have a niche uh, community and we're super dope and we like support each other uh, to the fullest. But I'm wondering how can I monetize with a community that I know is like consistently uh, underemployed and also, you know, living under scarcity capitalism, like, you know, there's like no money. So how do I support, amplify, and like, preserve all of that stuff while asking to, you know, for financial support? So the first thing that popped into my head with this question is um, this might be a great avenue to seek in uh, or to call in allies. So people that are not in the demographic, um, maybe looking at different avenues that like, this is your time where you can come in and help support me and like support what I'm doing now. Um, yeah. Yeah, totally agree as you layer, uh, you know, ways that people are disadvantaged and exploited, it becomes harder and harder to. 
So yeah, I had a great time with other creators. I love when they do this a lot. So you can meet other creators in your own city. I met a lot of good, like, a lot of amazing people who love to create content. Not people who are just worried about numbers, but worry about just creating a lot of great creativity content. I love meeting people like that. I met a couple, and they're totally freaking amazing. Um, but yeah. I literally haven't vlogged yesterday and today because yesterday I was so drained from Tuesday because I did get home a little bit like around 9-ish and mainly because yeah it's a little bit far from my house and just I was just so tired I'm like used to going like going home at 3 and then just like taking a little bit of a nap and then working on my YouTube stuff and I literally directly just went straight to the YouTube thing and yeah I was so tired on Wednesday. I've like literally completely shut the whole entire world off and just rested. I'm gonna do a little bit of that today, but I do have to edit this. Like, I'm gonna call it this little mini weekly vlog thing as I have a lot of footage from that event. So, we're just going to do that. And then I probably vlog a little bit tomorrow and today probably not today but um sunday and everything so yeah um i have to have a meeting a phone call meeting because i do need to verify it like all the information for the april the april fashion show that um i got invited to so yeah and we need to i need to know like the car deal and everything and all this and the stuff so we're gonna do that also today because uh, and I order my food because the bitch is hungry. Like, I'm hungry. I got some, you know, ajo blanco guandules with rotisserie chicken. And I, I'm, I'm fat. So, I like tres leches. And I also got a orange country club soda. Like, I don't drink a lot of soda. Like, I really don't drink soda. So, when I do, it's like a little bit surprising. Everybody looking at me like, who is this bitch? Like, this bitch don't drink soda. Yeah, that type. Um, yeah. And I forgot I have to literally... Okay, so I have... I bought this, like, Amazon... It's like a case, like a hard case for my Apple computer. Um, yeah. I failed at that because it's so... It's, like, small. Like, I got the 15-inch and I'm trying to get, like, a case because I'm taking it to LA in July. And literally, it's small. So, I have to return that and probably, like, look for a new one. It's just so annoying. I just... And it doesn't even fit in my little travel size bag that I got. Um, Basically, I used it last year. I always use that every single day. That's, like, the best bag that I always have with me. But it doesn't fit in that bag. So, I'm thinking of getting, like, a little, like, laptop bag so I can just, like, carry with me instead of like putting everything in there um i think i'm gonna do that because i really am need i really am gonna need to take that computer with me so that's what we're gonna do but yeah um my food comes in at it said one o'clock so it's literally like two no it's on five blocks away from me so it'll probably be here soon we're gonna do that and yeah i feel like i'm gonna have like a little side of a cold or is my sinuses because right here freaking hurts like i i feel like i'm in the fucking air and i think it's my freaking allergies and i don't want to take no allergies pill because i knock out very quick like literally very quick i knock out so i don't want to do it Ugh. I'll be right back, guys. So, I just... Well, I woke up, like, an hour. What time is it? Yeah, I woke up, like, two hours ago. And I've just been, like... I've been obsessed with this really freaking game. And it's called... It's... Well, I've been obsessed with two games. So, I played bit life and right now i'm playing the last shelter that i got oh i saw that on instagram and i love zombies so i was like why not like literally this is not really spo this is not sponsored at all but like i made my whole entire like city and everything 
I'm just obsessed with it right now. So I, I literally was playing that for like two hours with my bit life. I'm planning to do a bit life gaming, um, like do the game thing. So a lot of people have been loving do. I've been loving watching other people do it. So I'm like, why not? I'm gonna plan to do one. Um, yes, I'm gonna edit a little bit more, and literally later do my face routine because I have been breaking out a little bit, but. I literally got the Dior, the brand new like Dior Glow. It's basically a um, glow booster. Um, I literally, I freaking love this shit. Like, look how pretty. It's like aesthetically pleasing, and I've been loving using this. It's smells so good. Um, it's been making my skin glowy as hell. But I'm gonna test it a little bit more. But for the like the three days that I have it, I literally have seen a little bit more of results. And literally, I'm gonna do a review on this because it's supposed to literally brighten and even um skin to delay signs of aging so i'm gonna do a review on it but for right now the three days i'm very impressed with this so i'll check back in within a week more so i can like give my f official thing online so yeah that's what we're doing but yeah i'm gonna keep editing and i'll see you guys later because um, my vlog camera is literally about to die so it's Friday and I like it's literally like around nine ish I believe nine seventeen and literally I haven't vlogged this whole day because I've been working since three. Then literally I fell asleep on the dream that I almost well I did go to the Bronx. So I literally had to take a train back, then walk four to five blocks to my house, which is so annoying. Um, and then I just was in the mood to just relax and watch movies. I watched The Silence. I finished watching Sabrina. And I finished watching... No, not even finished watching. I think I got a couple of episodes left. I think it was Black Summer or something like that. Um, it's kind of cool, but I, I don't remember the name. It's brand new. But literally, that's what I've been doing the whole day. And... I'm going to continue doing that, do a little bit of editing, and then call it a night. So, this will be, I'm going to be deucing you guys. So, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. It'll be a little bit more, have a little bit more longer. It's just, this week I'm just poofed, exhausted, wanting to relax and everything. So, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, bell, and then, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Deuces!